Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the topic cons of virtualization which gives us an insight to the disadvantages of using virtualization. Cons of virtualization or the disadvantages of virtualization. First thing is it requires high upfront expenditure. What does high upfront expenditure means here is though it was stated that virtualization is cost effective but when you implement such a strategy from the ground up it would mean that you are going to have to invest more money in the hardware in the near future. That means since virtualization is cost effective as we all know then how it has the higher upfront expenditure that is whenever we implement such strategies or such kind of strategies from the ground up it would mean that the organization which is using virtualization would have to invest more money in the hardware in near future not at present but in near future. Nevertheless, you will definitely save in the long run. Now, if you are going for a long run and not for a limited duration or limited time, then you are going to save. But take note that implementation will get or can get costly. Second thing is it comes with some limitations. First, one major disadvantage of using virtualization is that it involves various limitations. Now, what all the limitations are? First thing, take a note that not all servers and applications are virtualization friendly, which means that some aspects of the IT infrastructure of your business might not be compatible with the virtualized solutions. You should consider the fact that there are still vendors that do not fully support virtualized environment. So here we know that not all the servers and applications they are virtualization friendly. Now if we are going to virtualization then we have to see which all the servers are virtualization friendly and applications that are also virtualization friendly. Then again which means that some aspects of the IT infrastructure or we could say information technology infrastructure of the business might not be that compatible with the virtualized solutions. Another limitation here comes is that there are still vendors who do not support fully virtualized environments. So this is another limitation in that. Now it puts data at risk. How? Since data is crucial to the business, it is utmost importance that you only choose virtualization solutions that offer adequate data protection. Remember that not having your own server can put your data at risk making it vulnerable. As we all know data is very important and crucial part of the businesses. So now that data is of utmost importance when we are going for any of the virtualized solution then that virtualized solution should provide an adequate data protection. If it is not there then the data is vulnerable or it can be impeached. It comes with the danger of server sprawl. What is that? While virtualization is very easy to deploy, there is always the risk that new servers could be added even if they are not necessary. That means we have virtualized with one server, there can be another server which can be added easily that may not be necessary for the organization. For instance, instead of having 10 virtual servers that you really need for the organization which is required or requirement is of 10 virtual servers, you might have 20 or more than 20 virtual servers with you here. Then it comes with the issues of availability and scalability. See, most of the time the terms availability and scalability are intervened when it comes to the networking as both are relevant to the server virtualization after all. So, availability would become a problem if virtualized servers go offline and every website they host would also fail. That means availability is a problem. How it is a problem here? If the virtualized server they go offline and then every website that host or that have that will fail due to 
virtualization. Scalability is even trickier considering that virtualization offers a means for several small businesses to share the costs associated with hosting. As you can see, while a business may start out small, there is always the possibility that it could grow big and easily dominate a virtualized server robbing resources from other websites. It has security flaws. How virtualization has security flaws here? The process of virtualization is designed to separate virtualized resources. But there are still cases where servers were accidentally visible to other people who were not supposed to see them. Now here, what we know in virtualization or process of virtualization, the server or resources are designed or are in such a way that they are separated from each other. But it, there are some of the cases where servers which are created for a specific task or for specific organizations, they were accidentally visible to other people who are not supposed to see them, then they are compromising with the security or the data of the organization. It comes with the risk of bleed overs. What does that mean here is bleed overs are possible issues to be aware of when subscribing to a virtualized server occurring when the contents of a certain server affect other servers. For instance, a chat room that occasionally hosts live discussions with IT industry professionals would experience its chat members receiving a pop-up window stating that they already exceeded the total bandwidth allocation and being booted out for the chat room. For what is worse here is that can be or this can be happen this can still happen even if the internet service provider was not limiting the bandwidth consumption the thing is there might be another site that is hosted on the same server implementing a shared bandwidth limitation program which can limit bandwidth for the server as a whole Many businesses and organizations of today are already taking advantage of virtualization because most of their operations are highly dependent on information technology processes. This is regarded as a wise investment that makes management of data more efficient and convenient. However, for the organization, you must make sure that you are aware of both the advantages and disadvantages of using virtualization to ensure that you will be able to implement and manage it properly. Thank you.